So last time, the warriors entered the Colosseum with the intent of winning the grand prize, their fame and infamy on the wall of warriors. All of them had dreams, all of them had different styles coming into the arena. They fought through many days and many nights until there were only a few left. Now they all await their judgment of their talents and their hard work by the vast array of judges who will be there to see them. Who will be there when the dust clears? And will their hard work be acknowledged by the greats? And that brings me to the topic of today's video on the winners of the 2021 Kyoto Contest. Let's get into it. But before we get into this video, if you don't know me, my name is Vandal. I am a self-published mangaka and author of note. My goal is to help other manga and comic book artists with their art and their writing skills to craft the story of their dreams. To really help motivate you and mangaka around the world, I have created a manga and comic book competition that's open to all creators that's currently running from October 2nd to April 21st with a cash prize totaling of $3,500 USD. If you're interested in registering, click the link in the description below now, but let's get into the video. So hey there guys, it's your boy Vandal and I'm coming back at you with another video and as you know by the intro, we're going to be talking about the winners of last year's Kyoto Manga Award competition. So let's get into it. Now honestly, I wasn't sure if this award, because it's been long overdue now, was actually going to happen because it's taken so long. It's been like at least a few months, maybe like at least six months since the the contest ended i didn't even see anything updated on the website i wasn't even sure if it was going to happen but uh maybe like a month or two ago last month because i've been super busy with my manga if you want to follow for updates you know follow me on twitter follow me on instagram i'm updating on my new manga one shot called the seizure it is super dope all right plug done now we have the winners there are five winners technically six but we'll talk about that towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that so what i'm going to do in the video is first we're going to do a little bit of a recap if you didn't see the last video about like the rules and establishing everything you can check out that video right here but let's just get into who's actually going to be judging this contest all right so here we have is the kyoto manga anime award 2021 uh, we went over most of the stuff, you know, previous people. This is a really good way for you to get yourself into the manga world, you know, get yourself noticed. Even if you don't win, somebody might see your work and you might get contacted. So it was a really good way to get in. Prize money wasn't way too much, but it wasn't about the money. It's about actually being seen. So we're not too worried about that. Just something to think about. Uh, you get a little bit of money for all your hard work. There were five prizes. We have the Grand Prize, Excellence Award, Runner Up, Finalist, Special Jury, and I think that's about it. And winners got a chance to go to Kyoto. I wonder if that actually got to happen this year, but I don't even know. I think this was 2020. Uh, maybe they did it on Skype. In terms of who's actually going to be viewing this and judging this, we have the first judge from Shueisha and Shonen Jump Plus Person in Charge. It's a very interesting way to frame that. Shihei Rin. He entered Shueisha in 2006. He belongs to the editorial department of Weekly Shonen Jump. He's currently in charge of Spy X Family. Oh my God, I love Spy X Family. Chainsaw Man, Heart Gear, I've never heard of that. Don Da Don, I've heard Don Da Don. Uh, he's working on some very interesting stuff. He sounds like a dope editor. Uh, works he's currently released in the past are Blue Exorcist. Kono Oto Tomare, Sounds of Life, Fire Punch, Kimono Jihen, Left Handed Ellen, oh, Hell's Paradise, or Jugoku Kuraku, oh, it's Jugoku Raku, sorry, Kako Kawaii Sengen, Moonland, and many others. This dude seems pretty prominent, so he's one of the judges for the contest. Let's go to the next one. Uh, next one is Takema Fujita. Align Digital Frontier Inc. Alliance Promotion Department Editor Manager. Okay. After working for Boon Kasha Inc. Square Inc. Uh, Square Enix. You know, people who make uh, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, and experiencing various magazines such as Four Panels Magazines, Youths. He joined Line Manga as an editor in 2019. He's currently in charge of Literary Virgin and Cleave. Clavatis? I can't read. The King of Beasts. 
the babe and cadaverous cadaverous champion all right your boy needs to up his lingo because these words is killing me all right and then our last judge is Ryosuke Goto. Since joining the company in 2014, the company is Mag Garden Corporation Kansai Division. Uh, deputy editor in chief. Sounds very like just. I don't know. I don't have a word for it, but it's. Ugh. He's been involved in the monthly Comic Garden and the launch of Magbox, collaborative label with Manga Box. He was previously in charge of Pig Pat Pat Pat. Okay, put it in the chat. You see the words, you know what it says. Meikon no Chigiri and Joker game. Oh my God, the animation. Oh, that's pretty cool. Joker game. Maybe I'm thinking I'm thinking of another anime. That's not the same anime, y'all. Now he is mainly involved in discovering and nurturing writers living in regional areas through webcomic magazine MagCon, which is operated by Mag Garden Kansai Division Umeda Osaka. So now we have an idea of who our judges are, a little bit of their background. It's kind of one of those things to definitely think about when entering a contest, um, you know, like the contest that I'm running. So, you know, just one of those things to think about. So now we have an idea for judges. Let's go look at who won. And we're going to start with the, with the runner up and then work our way up to the top. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start with our first submission and that is Oni Togai. I think that's what it's called. I, I had to use Google Translate. It was not very easy. So I couldn't read this one, but I'm going to read what the judges said and I'll give you like my impressions of it as well. So I'm a judge too because I matter or something like that. Anyways, let's get into it. First, we have the comments from Rian San. Uh, the art design shows good taste. Chapter one has a fantastical dot analog feel and the world is caref carefully crafted. But I got the impression that there was too much of the character's work environment described more than the story. The drawings are appealing, so I'd like to read the work that is more conscious of depicting the character's emotions and drama structure. Fujita-san said, I was shocked by the unexpected submission of a fully watercolored analog manuscript. I would first like to commend you for completing such a large number of pages. It's hard to give a grade to the first chapter since it's mainly an introduction of the characters, but the second chapter was nicely organized and pleasant to read. It would be good if you could continue to draw heartwarming stories that make people want to live in this town. But if you could also draw how the demons are dangerous, which would add depth to the worldview and make it even more interesting. Lastly, me as the judge, one of the things that I enjoyed was I really enjoyed the use of watercolor because I couldn't really get an idea from the story, but I loved the watercolor. I loved the use of paneling, the way the author used like the framing of shots was really nice. I enjoyed that very much. And just having a manga in full color, and apparently this was done by hand, I guess that's what it meant by analog, is really difficult. And the artwork is very well drawn. It kind of also reminded me of Demon Slayer, which was really fun. I think it was a great entry. Uh, I can't wait to see what they make in the future. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So now we have V roll, which I could actually read, but this one was very short. Uh, and this was one of the finalists. There are two finalists. We'll get to the second one in a second. So V roll, let's see what the comments on V roll are. V roll. Uh, Rin San said, it is difficult to make an original game in a manga look appealing, but I like the effort you put into creating it. However, the explanations were a little difficult to understand because of the game's complexity. I am concerned by the fact that many of the explanations were a bit complicated before the reader could really feel the appeal of the game. And then Fujitsu-san said, the new game genre of VR sports is introduced in a way that's easy to understand and the story is well structured in terms of the beginning, middle, and end, showing high level of basic skills. I also like the storyline that encourages people who are not good at sports and the climax combined with the visuals and abilities surpassed my imagination and it was exhilarating. Uh, the only thing that I felt was lacking was the gradual excitement and thrill that the readers look for in manga. Please challenge yourself to make a more interesting story that attracts readers. So I thought there was a fun premise behind it, just seeming like from what the judges said and what I was able to read and observe. I wasn't able to actually read it because it was all in Japanese and my Japanese is not that good. I need to practice. But 
one of the other things is that I felt like it was a bit too short. I wanted to see a lot more. There wasn't that many pages. And when it got to the climax, it kind of just ended. So I wish there was a little bit more for me to see, you know, a little bit more to chew on, at least visually. But visually also, the backgrounds were amazing. Like, I really was, like, really impressed. Like, I was just like, I wish I could draw backgrounds like that. Why do you love backgrounds and I don't? But it was really good. And then lastly, I thought the character designs were interesting, especially because this is like supposed to be like a sports genre, but it's VR and it's this other world type thing. So it was very inventive. I think it was cool. I think Fujita-san's critique was important because I think to make something like this really cool and stand out and pop, it has to have, like he said, that excitement that makes people want to read more or delve more into it. Uh, in an interesting way so it's hard it's a hard balancing act but I think with more time like if this idea got developed we'd see some cool interesting things from it I stand corrected there's actually three finalists so we're gonna get into the third finalist and the third finalist is well second in the list is gender X border we have comments from all three I wonder how they like read it and delegated who read what interesting anyways let's let's get into who did what? So this is a cliche romantic comedy setup with science fiction elements that set up uh, male female conflict as their room becomes closer to each other. It's a nice idea, but I felt like it didn't mesh well with the development and was too forced. The world setting is tensely interesting, but the relationship progression is too fast and comedic. Interesting. It was very harsh. I think it's some of the harshest critique I've heard. Fujita-san said the story progression and ending is predictable from the beginning, but the close-ups of the characters were appealing and were so eye-catching that I couldn't help but hope for them to have a happy ending. As I saw the proposal scene, the author already has the ability to draw his or her imagination so he or she can develop a proper picture of the character's personality and individuality. I think he or she can create unique episodes. Goto-san, first Goto-san comment. All right, pop off in the comments. The way the leaders of the two countries who are both at odds with one another as well as clumsily attracted to each other made me smile. I also felt the author's cleverness in overlapping the statue of the holy prophecy with their marriage proposal. While the story is lighthearted and easy to read, it's the same the details of the worlds in the setting are a little underdeveloped. These are all very good comments. I honestly agree with a lot of the comments that the judges said for this. I thought the art was really great. I felt the story was really cliche. It, it it tried to feel like it wanted to do something new, but it couldn't find a way out of it. The the world and what the author wanted to draw, like Fujita-san said again, was just like really important that they're able to do that and able to grow and draw is just really important. And I wanted a few more details in the world. I don't know, it sounds like an interesting concept, but it needed more time and development than it did. And Maybe something about like having to rush a love story and the amount of pages you have is very difficult. I'm finding that to be difficult in of, of myself because I'm trying to work on my own love story and to do it in a one shot and make it feel like the characters actually love each other at the end is quite hard when they at the outset of it when they don't. Anyways, that's enough of me, but let's go on to the next submission. It was a really good submission. So now we have Icarus Rising by Brandon Chen and Muhammad Ali. Now, I, I'm not sure if that's both of them because I only see the author as Brandon Chen, but we'll leave it right there. So let's start with the comments from Rinsan. The action and the well-paced camera work shows good taste. However, I found it difficult to find the story interesting because it was only developed by explaining the setting and situation. And I hope that in your next work, you'll be more conscious of the scenes and dramas that will move the reader's emotions. The quality of the drawings is superb with careful attention to detail. The dialogues were pleasant to read because the characters in their respective positions had firm ideologies and wills. But I found it difficult to immerse myself in the story because the settings of the enemies of humanity, such as the Terra and the angels were vague and were forced developments. Please make sure you have enough detail settings to explain the story. That was from Fujita-san. Uh, Goto-san said, the art is carefully drawn with a lot of feeling put into every detail. The magnificent worldview setting is also ambitious and appealing. However, this work has a tendency to overload the reader with too much information 
which is a shame because it leaves the reader with the impression that it's difficult to understand the environment and drama surrounding the character. And I agree with all of these. I read this back when the Tezuka was a thing. If you want to see how I made my manga for the Tezuka, I have to plug it always. Uh, you can check it out right here. Well, one of the things I did read and notice from the story, it was one of the ones that came out early on, is that it did do a lot of the explaining. It did not. It did a lot of the telling, not the showing. And I think that's one of the things I always talk about on the channel is that you need to focus on showing what your world is about and don't explain too much. Explain where you need to, but when you have more text, then you have more pictures. It's a book and we want those pictures to show us what the world is about. But let me go into my uh, other comments as well because I really agree with what the judges said here. I think it was a good idea to repurpose a like old folktale about like Icarus flying to the sky and burning out. But in this instance, it didn't happen. I think the art was really good. It was amazing. I agree again, doubling down on those comments about like you did too much telling, not enough showing with your characters, uh, more character involvement. I think the one part about it is that it didn't feel, even though the idea was sort of like nice and repurposed, the the core of it just felt like something that was generic and already existed in the world, even though the art was like really, really good. It just felt like it looked really good on the outside. It was just missing the insides to make it like something super solid. There's like a big lesson in this about like just working on your showing, not telling. But I mean, the art will get you far. It's something we're going to talk about at the end. We're going to sum this up all at the end, but just bear with me. All right, we have two more, two more awards. And this is the runner-up award, Iron Lungs. I also read Iron Lungs back in the Tezuka. A lot of these are just coming back. Um, so you can see, you can always just have a work. It'll eventually do something. Just keep trying with what you got. Make something new and grow. But I really enjoyed Iron Lungs when I first read it. It felt like a story with a lot of heart. Let's see if the judges feel the same way about it. So Rinsan says, the lines are rough, but the drawing is attractive. The introduction of scouting a robot pilot in science fiction is a little bit cliche, but carefully structured drama structured with the protagonist's emotion fleshed out is really good. Fujita-san said, you're very good at creating memorable scenes and targeting the reader's emotions. I was a little disappointed that the protagonist's short life of two years the left to live was not fully used. There was many illustrations that overlapped with famous works. So I would like to read a work with more originality. It take it may take some time, but I believe that if you become more focused on finishing your manuscripts, you'll be able to attract a lot of readers. And then Goto-san finishes up with, this is a work that shows the author's high potential. The tempo of the story is good and pauses are skillful. The story is well paced and the pauses are skillful and the screen direction is well designed. The climax in particular took my breath away. The main problem is the roughness of the drawings in order to convey the appeal of the content. I would have liked to see a sincere approach to line drawing and, uh, fin and finishing. Y'all, they don't hold back y'all. They just, I like how I'll, I don't know if they read it together or they read it separately, but they all dug into like a very through line with this. And this also shows two things. One, no one is perfect. Even if you win a contest, you can always do better. And there's always things that you should focus on. And if you notice these in your feedback that you get back from judges, it's definitely something for you to think about. All right, so let's get into my thoughts as it comes to Iron Lungs. I agree, it should definitely just have a bit more cleaner art. I think it definitely needed that. The lines were super rough. I don't know what else to say, but the lines weren't weren't hit. I think the story was fun. It had like some really high peak moments. I like the idea of the mech. I can imagine if it was a lot more clean like they were saying, and I agree with. Uh, I had a lot of fun moments. I had a lot of highs. I had a lot of lows. I had good character development. It was all, it was overall like a really nice, smooth story. It felt like just like a really good pace story. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it was great. I think it deserves uh, the recognition that it, it, it got and hopefully to see like something even greater from this author. So yeah. Now it's time for the ultimate, the great, the amazing, the penultimate the winner. So this got the excellence award and it's not the grand prize because we'll talk about the grand prize quickly in a second, but 
I'm just talking about like in terms of manga because the one that won the grand prize wasn't about manga at all. So we'll get to that in a second. So the winner of this, I want to call it Harmony, even though I don't even see the Y. Oh wait, I think I actually see it now. Whoa, that's uh, that's intense. I couldn't read this one. So it seems to be like the ones that tend to win at the top. I need to like brush up my by multiple languages but harmony let's see what rinsan said so rinsan said the introduction uh and the way of the setting is presented are very good the way the character points uh to the camera from the girl to tupon made me feel that the story suddenly changed course and narrative the final scene where the people in the city riots gave me the impression that the story is progressing a little too fast it was hard to pick up the meaning of the last scene the author has a high level of directing ability and could draw pictures that would really draw you in. Fujita-san said the idea of aliens being useful as humans is new and adds reality to this world. The emotions of the characters such as suffering of the main character and the warmth of the store manager felt for the humans were well conveyed. Since you spent so many pages on this story, I would like you to focus more on just the story's unreasonable tragedy to convey to the readers at the end. The drawing composition and the characters were all drawn to a high standard. The quality is outstanding. The ending of the story is unexpected. Oh, and this is from Goto-san. And I was absorbed while reading it. It would be better if the disadvantages of alien skin had been foreshadowed from the first half of the story. So the reader's emotions and predictions can run wild. So you can get an idea of like what the story was about. So based on what I was able to actually just see, I thought the artwork was amazing. Like when you look through it, it's just high tier artwork all around. I loved it. The unexpected plot point where I could see things shifting and also just taking a few reference clues from what the judges said. Uh, put it together. It looked really cool and I thought there should be a little bit more world building based off of what the judges said But this one was really hard to judge. It looked like a really good winner and contester now Let's get into the one that actually won it all and That is this animation uh, For the CG anime contest judge. I didn't even know this was part of it uh, but they won you can go check it out on YouTube uh, or check it out on the site I'll put all the links down in the description. I guess so I thought this was a manga competition, but I guess there was other divisions uh, if you check the rules That's why you always check the rules, but they won and I guess that's really cool I mean, it's a really short short, but I won't play it here because you know copyright all that good stuff But definitely check it out on the site I'll put links in the description to all the people who won and all that good stuff. So now what does all of this mean? Cause I went through all of them for a reason. And because you know, this is the manga making channel, comic making channel. If you're entering a contest or you're making something, there's a lot of things that you can take away. Even if you didn't win, what did we learn? So let's get into some things that I think that we can take as takeaways from this contest. The first one, I don't want you to get this confused for me saying that art will be better than story, but art is kind of like when you wear a suit to a business interview, especially for people who don't know you. It's the first thing they're going to see, and it's the first inference they're going to make about whether they want to hire you or whether they want to actually continue reading your work. And that is one of the things that we can gather from a lot of the judges' comments. A lot of the judges were looking at the artwork. A lot of the people who made it up here had really good artwork, even if they had like some flaws in them they made it here because their artwork stood out and was different now that's not to say that all of them didn't have particular issues with their story i think everyone has issues with their story no matter how long your story is or no matter how short it is there's some problem that will pop up in some way that can always be done better there's no perfect story uh except full metal alchemist all right, fight me in the comments. But anyways, uh, that's definitely something to think about as our as we think about making manga is we need to make sure that our art is on point and we're always practicing to get better at that because that is the first thing people will see. I think this is a good overall thing. I saw it like as a subtext as well is the idea of the cinemacism 
I think I'm making this word up, but the cinematics of manga. How do you position your, your panels? How do you position the artwork inside of the panels to make it look movie-esque, even though it is a still image, to make it really interesting, I think is an important thing that we all need to get better at, and I'm totally making a video on this very soon, so stay tuned on it. It is an important point. It has to deal with an advanced way of paneling, but a thought process of your mind should be like the camera, and whatever is in your mind should be very interesting and pleasing and have a reason for being there, and I think studying film can also help you with making manga, but we're going to get that in another video that is coming very soon, I promise you. I think also another good thing to think about is just the emotions that your characters convey. Like really, like a good example is like thinking about like how characters feel when something happens or their emotions when something hits. Uh, having a range of sad to happy is very good and being able to express that in your artwork is also very important. I, just, I saw that in a lot of the comments like talking about like wish the emotions were better. I wish the, the drama was there. Like I think that's like an important thing to make sure that you're thinking about in your artwork uh, and in your story like how you can convey those together so they can work in tandem. It's a very important thing to get down. And then lastly I would just talk about like just general story ideas. General story things that just need work just sharpening and fine-tuning your story uh, getting feedback understanding like how your pacing could be better how your characters could be better trying to avoid cliches where you can and understanding that sometimes you won't be able to avoid those cliches sometimes those cliches are just there and you're gonna have to work around them or work with them to try and make the best you can with what you got it's just an important thing of thinking about like how do we just better our stories and again I've started this new thing about like one minute manga tips. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll find uh, that I put these up like during the week. So they're like extra added content to help you like gear your mind to thinking about how to better weave this whole manga storytelling drawing idea and how to like get your mindset right. So check that out if you're interested. So that's a close for this contest. This was a lot. Uh, take from it what you will. I would say go look at the entries, get an idea of who won, look at past winners. Uh, think about what you want your next work to be about. What? How do you want to impact people? How do you want to take some of those things I tried to put together in this video? What do you think the judges said? All those things are really important uh, every time a contest happens. And I'll always, you know, tell you guys about a contest. So make sure you subscribe so you can hear about the next one. Of course, the next one is my very own contest, the Birthday Manga Bash. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I'll put the mailing list down below in the in the description. There's so many things to put down in the description. But yeah, uh, definitely check that out. Definitely look out for that. It will be super important, and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. And it's gonna be another contest. It's about a month or two away. So definitely look out for that. Yeah, it was a cool competition. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't think I have anything more to say. So if anything, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the contest test what's some things you might want to see on the channel uh what was your favorite submission and what was something that didn't win that you totally thought should have i'd love to hear your comments in the comment section down below also if the question pops up and i know you got here you won't ask this question but more than likely there will be a kyoto manga 2022 uh coming out this year so definitely be on the lookout for that i'll definitely put it on the channel uh don't be scared but you know or be scared why would you be scared? Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. Uh, if you like the video, don't hesitate to hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos, contests, all that good stuff. Follow me on all my social medias. And hit that bell for notifications when you want to hear things that I have to say. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Boy. I was supposed to disappear right there, um, but it didn't work out. Uh, catch you in the next one. Boy. Okay. Uh, and then outro clap. Gotta make sure. I don't know how this is gonna come out. I've never done it like this. Watch nothing be recording. All right, so you're here, you're there. Uh, all right, so how do we
stop recording.